Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to create ISBN 13 barcodes within Microsoft Word. Now an ISBN 13 barcode is not a traditional barcode. You can't just substitute in a font and get it working properly. It's really weird. So here's how to actually do that correctly. Now in this case I'm going to be using Microsoft Word 2013 and we're going to create a new file here. So we're going to go to File, New and create a new blank document. And I'm going to do this as a mail merge. So I'm going to click on the Mailings tab and then I'm going to go ahead and click on Start Mail Merge and I'm going to select Labels for myself. And I'm using these Easy Peel Labels here. And so we have that up. Now you'll see in my Microsoft Word I have Insert Barcode field here. This may not exist in yours, in fact it probably doesn't. This you get from installing the Microsoft Office Language Pack that's Japanese. This is extremely weird. I can't explain why Microsoft had it done this way, but I promise you it's correct. I tested it. It works. In my case, Japanese Language Pack for Office 2013. I purchased it for $25 and installed it. And after installing it, we now have Insert Barcode field. Go figure, Microsoft. Once you have that, you'll have this field, but we actually need our data to go in here now. So in this other tab here, I have a list of ISBNs that I can use. This is some of the products we produce as a company. This is 13 digits long, doesn't have any of the dashes or anything in it, and that's the ISBN 13 we use on the various books, which you can actually see one of them. They look just like this. Of course, you've seen these before. Now, here's the weird part is that you can't just use the full code. If you push this into Microsoft Word and import it, it's going to not work because the last digit is special. The last digit is a calculated ending. We actually need to remove that last digit in order to get this to work. Otherwise, Office just won't work with it. It won't let you use it. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. What we do here is we're going to create a new column within our Excel file. We're going to call it fixed ISBN 13. Okay. So we need to make some code here that will actually get the ISBN 13 field here. Move it over. Now in this case, it's equals to left. We take our original column here, comma length, len, which is length, again, and we subtract that length from one. Now I'm gonna hold on here a bit so you can see the code properly. We're gonna hit enter on that, and we're gonna see that now we have this new one that subtracts off the rightmost character. We'll just apply that all the way down. So, nice and simple so far. Now we're going to save this file and we're going to go back over to our Word document and we're going to import this file. In order to do this, we can hit on select recipients, use an existing list, and we're going to go to my documents folder and pull up this file. There's our table. And we now want to insert barcode field, select a field and a barcode type. And you'll see here, here's all the fields that were in that other file. Now when I select ISBN 13, you'll see that it has all these different ways it could make the barcode. But if you look at them visually, they don't, again, look like an ISBN 13. I'm holding up to the camera here. They don't have the sides in the middle and all that correct. And that's because they're not correct. They're actually a different format. Um, and you'll see here, here's the interesting part. If I select fixed ISBN, you'll see that one of the barcode types is EAN13, and this is a correct barcode. Again, subtracting off that last digit actually allowed us to do this. So we select the fixed ISBN13, so we want it as an EAN13 type. That's exactly what you want for an actual ISBN13 barcode. Once you select that, hit OK, and you'll see that it put it in like this, and we can hit preview results here to see what it looked like. And no, it won't add them to all the fields. Yeah, I'll show you that in a second. But it's a bit too tall, so we're going to right-click on it, go to Edit Barcode, hit Advanced, and we're going to lower the height a bit to whatever we think it should be. And hit OK, OK. That's the right height. That actually fits in the box. And then we can go ahead and hit the Update Labels button in the top right here, and it applies to all the different ones. And we can now actually have all these barcodes that will actually scan correctly, and that's how you make barcodes in Microsoft Word. 
It's really wacky and weird, costs you 25 bucks, but it actually works and you won't pay $400 for a barcode software or get a virus from one of the free ones that are roaming around the internet. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, leave a comment, I'll try to get back to you. Have a great day.